guys, today we're skipping on that boring stuff that everyone else does. And then in your page notes, oh, let me read word for word visual updates and breakable. What? No. Okay, we're gonna get straight into it. So, they added some new cosmetics for Ghostface, Legion, The Blight, uh, that name, Thing Ming, and Felix Richer. And, uh, we go check them out. Alright, so there you go. I'm gonna be honest, the ghost face one looks really sick, bro. Honestly. Uh, the Legion's okay, the Blight, like what? It's Blight, Blight. It's like Blight on Blight. Okay, we don't need that. The, 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 the Miss Speedway outfit is okay, I guess. That, the thing, men though, that is crazy. Holy crap. What makes it look like a holy, a totally different new character. And his is okay. So, alright, getting into it. So yeah, there's uh, the tome is starting tomorrow, and also along with the event, which I posted a little sneak peek of what the event's gonna be like in my last video, up here. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, yeah, there's breakable walls now in that. I've actually saw it, and the graphics are updated, and it actually looks like its own map now, and not just like a combination of uh, the, the byproducts of bad maps, okay? I haven't noticed the, the updates for lockers or the 4K icons, but I'm sure that is a thing. Well, obviously it is. Then we got the balance changes. This is... Wow. Okay. So, alright. Our boy got his power uh, updated, I guess. I, I haven't noticed it, but... I'm sure it is. I remember them talking about like him being able to... I heard that he was able to like M1 right off the ground and that... They didn't like that. And his uh, spike recovery might be better, or some something with the, some with his um, punishment of the damned. Anyways, this I believe this got buffed. I believe it. It the yellow was forty, the green was fifty, and the purple was or it wasn't purple, but now it's purple is eighty, or was was sixty. So, I, it's gotten buffed by 20 seconds, which might actually add some use, but I feel like they'd have to rework it a little bit more, because not everyone takes protection hits, because that's not really that smart sometimes. Unless you're running that one perk that we're going to talk about in a second. So, this. After kicking a generator, you become undetectable until a generator stops regressing, or a survivor is injured or put into the dying state by any means. This looks sick. This looks really good. I like this. This is so better than... I mean, it can be, but it probably is because it forces them to either make a play on it. So, there'll be those people that will camp on it, which isn't that... I, I mean, I don't recommend it, but there'll be those people that camp on it because it's highlighted and people will be like, oh, shoot, let's go to that. This, this is really cool. Uh, good for stealth killers, honestly. Every 60 seconds be cool if that effect was like 30 seconds at purple i mean that i don't know that might be a little too op but let's look at this so they basically just cut the the meters in half then no, no big deal i mean it's okay i feel like hey this this will get more uses though i know that this eh this eh they're not that good this looks pretty fun might not be good, but it looks fun. Alright, let's go to our another perks. Alright, we got Thantophobia. This, I really like this. Because I like snowballing, or like snowballing injuries. 
and uh, they made it more effective, which is so good, honestly. It used to not be, no, I did not like how they had it. But uh, yeah, common, or like uncommon, the tier 1 is 4% to a max of 16%. So, it's pretty cool. They made it to a max of 20% repair, which I, I really like this idea. So, on to the next one. So, they nerfed this. They made it. Not only, I believe the aggression penalty might be a little lower, but uh, they made it where it only affects healing and repairing, which I believe last it used to affect everything that had a skill check. So, you know, some things were hidden that didn't actually affect it, but yeah, so... So, I don't think this perk was mentioned, but it looks like it got a buff. Did... Or am I, am I smoking crack? Is that always undetectable? I feel like it might have been always undetectable. Well, anyways, I thought it just gave, removed the blood strain at tier 1, but... Nope. Uh, it now makes you undetectable, or it always did make you undetectable, and I'm just smoking crack, so... So, I believe this got a little bit of a buff. I'm not for sure, though, but... Um, I remember playing a game yesterday as a person Demogorgon, and it did not last no three seconds, and this is the minimum, so I think they buffed the, the time. So, now it's easier to stealth on people. So, this also got tinkered with, uh, <clears throat> looks like, you know, I don't remember this perk, <laughs> it just, it just, I, I guess it sucked that bad, I just didn't really pay attention to it, but, uh, <clears throat> it does this now, whatever this is, I think. I'm going to assume it has an increased range. Uh, it's like, is this a better blood favor? What? Hold on. Yeah, it's literally just blood favor, but with generators. <sighs> and not as much, even though this is a hex. Blood favor sucks, bro. Oh, this, this is a big one right here. Discordance. Oh, gosh. People are going to be mad. So, basically... It gives you a set range up to, I believe, 96. And, uh, obviously you want a tier 3 now. So, uh, OTZ Darva, or however you say it, he's gonna have to get his Discordance level 3 now. It's a sad day. Because, remember, he kept it at level 1 because it was actually better at level 1. But now it only gives you one notification. Yeah. Holy crap. They changed that icon. No wonder I couldn't find it. Slippery meat grants. Okay, that's good. So, that's why they changed it. So, if you didn't know, it used to affect traps. Made it where you got out of traps faster. Well, now this lets you, uh, has a greater chance of getting out of the hook. Which is much better, so, because it's not biased towards a trapper. If you didn't know, he had so many counters. It was retarded. They're slowly. Balancing out Trapper to be better, but so this is the, I can't believe they made a whole new icon for it too. Hmm. So this could be good if you're running Ace build, you know. That's now a better thing. You got a perk to aid it. So yep. So if I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure where the change is here. I could be skipping over it, which I mean I am, but like. Uh, looks like the same. Maybe the effect is better. Maybe the mangle effect is less or it's more. I don't know. Whatever. So I believe they also know if Papa goes the weasel because uh, that looks a little low. It's active for 35 seconds. So yeah, they nerfed it. Holy crap though. I'm so glad they did this right here. Made it where survivor you heal survivors in the dying state 100% faster. That, that's, that's really cool. I like that idea, honestly. And they made it where you can also stun the killer by blinding them or with a pilot and you'll get a token. This, this is such a good change. That, this is gonna definitely get more attention, I think. Technician also got, uh, I, I'd say it's a buff. So, basically, it still reduces the noise that they can hear, that the killer can hear it. But, the generator explosion is always prevented and I mean but 3% more progression is lost which I don't even know why they even wanted to do the 3% more progression loss why didn't they just make the modifier on the meters I don't know but well this is better I mean people aren't gonna use it cuz it sucks but still 
Yeah. So they buffed any means necessary, which I completely agree with, because most of the time the killer will break the ballot, so what's the point? But uh, it looks like it might bring it up a little faster. I never use this perk, so I don't know. But I know the cooldown is significantly lower. So definitely buff, so go check this perk out. For the people, also got a change, which I can't uh, exactly identify what the change is, but I believe equipping this perk decreases your chance to be a killer obsession. I don't know if that was there before. And the, bro, the cooldown looks lower. I think the cooldown is lower. So, yeah, now they introduced tier 1 is just all yellow. Tier 2 is all green, and tier 3 is all purple, which you can see right here. See, it's just all flat. Just that's how the perks are now, which is better. So that there's no controversy which perk is better now. Like the the three teachable perks, so that's good. And now, if we look, <clears throat> bless you. Now, if we look, the killers will sometimes see an incorrect animation during the start of the match. Camera pay. Okay, yeah, I have for sure seen this. All right. This, like, the first time that my boy Wraith here was, like, looking off to the stars or something with his... It, it was weird. I can't describe it. It just looked weird. So, yeah, that was all the cool stuff. But, um, also, just a quick note. This cross progression, once you sign up for it, your entire friends list will be white. And, uh, it just sucks. So, Steam and Stadia, I wouldn't, I wouldn't connect it right now. Because I did, and I think I disconnected it, and now you can't do it for 59 days, and I don't have my friends list back. So, uh, it's super glitched. They had no idea what they were doing out right there, so uh, that that's great. It's fun, though. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got educated, and I'll see you in the next one.